Hello again. So, uh, welcome back if you saw the first one and you're fool enough to tune in for a second one. Uh, so, this is uh, Let's Play Life is Feudal Forest Village. This is year two, as that would suggest. Um, right, so uh, what have we done? I've Over the winter, I've built this, um, it's called a garden house. Very nice. Go in there and sit away. You can't actually, you could theoretically go in there and virtually sit down um, but the important thing for this is that everything within its radius the residences I believe all gain from it so basically anybody who lives in them is happy and if they're happy they let's try this sprog yeah there you go so if they're happy they work much more effectively and efficiently actually while I'm talking shit let's just there is an animal down there I'm sure there it is. Yeah, um, while they're more efficient, they're, uh, sorry, while they're happier, they're much more efficient. And that's what you want, really, right up the jacks. Any more? For any more. Um, yeah, so I don't normally bother with, um, happiness providing things for a while, but I have this time. Being a bit, uh, <laughs> Plenty to choose from now. Yeah. Been a bit, uh. different. Why not? Could be different. <coughs> so, state of play, we have 14 bots. Space for just 14, so we're at maximum capacity. Uh, nine grown ups, one teenager, four children. They're the new ones coming through. Uh, these are starting to shrink. We've got no clothes, so they're all walking around in their skivvies, basically. Which is not a pretty sight. I've stuck two in the fishering thing because they are that fish is dropping drastically. A uh, couple making charcoal, struggling to keep up, but they're just about managing to do it. I think two in the mine who are probably going to take them out soon because I don't, you know. Actually, I might as well do that now. So I've got most of the building resources. The problem is going to be logs. I've got one bod over here chopping down wood but he's not going to be particularly efficient because he's quite a long way away and the labourers these oh. bods are mm. Mm. yeah I'm gonna I've been picking off the the mature trees as you can see from the gaps here but um without going further afield which is quite a long walking distance I've basically run out of wood so there's a good chance that certainly for the first half of year two my building activities are going to be quite heavily restricted. Um, I wanted to go with this. I'm starting to wonder if I should go with this. <laughs> so basically the weaver's workshop is exclusive. You build that and it does what it says on the tin. Blacksmith's workshop needs the furnace because you need the cast iron to make the high quality tools. So you can sort of think of that as one build really. So I need 200 wood for that, 150 for that. We have Soissant Neuf available. That will keep trickling in from there, so... I think I'll do that. Let's just speed that up. So we've only got, we haven't got any one spare, so basically everybody's in their professions and they're stuck doing what they're doing. <coughs> where am I putting that? That's there, isn't it? So that's where we put the Weaver's Workshop with a view to making quality garments. Oh, I got a sprog. Hmm. Oh. Get the fuck out of my bloody house, you. Bloody pillage in the... I don't know. You can't get the wild animals nowadays. I think... Oh, hello. God, you need some clothes. Walking around. T-shirt. String vests. Let's just tidy this up while I'm talking shit. So, yeah, year two, I've got a feeling I'm going to be um, doing a fair bit of it off camera. Because <laughs> uh, there's only going to be so much building and progress I can do. Uh, but nevertheless, we're in early spring. Temperature is rising. I was about to burst into a song then, but don't worry, I won't subject you to that just yet. <coughs> don't think we need flax next year. I think we need growth. 
Ooh, 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 exciting. Mr. Peasley. Alright, temperature's plus one, so we can start the growing stuff. So the weaver's workshop's done other than wood, of which there is none, so I'm going to take all of them out. Fishing is... Uh, holding their own. It's gone up a little bit. We need five. So I need two more volunteers, please. Dear. So if we have one of them and him, yeah. <coughs> so we're going to grow two fields: one of grass, one of tatty bogles. Um. And once again, I haven't got anyone spare. So when El Sprogo grows up, it's going to be a while. Annabelle will grow up when she's six, I believe. Let's just go for a wander around the yard, shall we? Oh, there's another teenager. What are you doing here? This is my turf. One up the jacksy for the nice bear. Tidy that up. Yeah, um... So quite limited in terms of what I can do in year two, I think, or certainly in terms of um, growth. <coughs> maxed out on people, maxed out on resources. Oh, wrong way. Where are we going? There. I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, okay, that's tidied up. Oh, 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 oh! Let's let's be obscene. Hey, everyone, who wants a boogie? Looks like they got wind holding their stomach. Oh, and they were that excited with the thought of having a dance, they've all gone home to sleep. It's exhausted them. So yeah, uh, so for the time being, I think that's pretty much it. We're kind of, um, we're in our little groove and we're, not that we're stuck. But, uh, yeah, I can't imagine an awful lot of excitement going on for the, uh, for the immediate term. So I shall stop the recording process and morph back in when something occurs. I've been using and abusing me teenagers. Well, in the nicest possible sense, of course. Uh, they have ferried all of the resources ready for building the weaver's thingamy bob. Uh, they've done some terraforming, that we'll show you in a minute. And now I'm using one of them to build this furnace. <laughs> Having moved all the resources from... Um, let's just do so I can watch the fishing people as well. Having moved all the resources that it needed from the warehouse. Uh, I have two teenagers, one's about to grow up, so I might as well get used to, uh, used to working. While she covertly spies on the fisherwoman. Ooh, there you go. There is our furnace a la teenager. Wallow me. <laughs> casually get a pig. So the ooh, sheeting with rain. So the teenagers terraformed this, as you can probably see, in three bits, three slabs. So I cleared it and then terraformed it. Needs a lot of tidying up, of course, a bit loose around the edges. But I think I'm going to be growing up that way, so I might as well clear the path for them. Ready? Loads of animals. I have a hunting cabin ready to be built there. Oh, there's the furnace done. Blacksmith shop will follow. So when I've got a builder, I've got nobody grown up yet. Um, I'll get them cracking on with that weaver's works. Could do it with a teenager, but I can't be bothered. I don't think. Might change my mind, of course, because I can. <laughs> uh, fields, yeah, they're coming along. So it's still spring. Wow, okay, fair dues. So the guas is coming along. Uh, I think we'll probably get two cycles out of that. Tatties are starting to grow. The little tatty plants are... I imagine they're loosening the earth to allow for... God, you're going to have a wet t-shirt competition if you're not careful, girl. Steady. She certainly will. 
need some clothes for these quite urgently. What are you wearing? Hmm, okay. Jury's out on that one. Not entirely sure that's the best fashion statement. Hey ho. Mm, looks like it'll be alright. So yeah, um, just waiting really. Uh, waiting for people to make it free. Mm? Oh, he's about to run out of stuff as well. So he's got 20 more firewood to turn into charcoal. Don't seem to be getting very far. I'm sure it's been 21 for ages. Maybe it's, I'm just imagining things. Um... Yeah, so I guess when he runs out of firewood to turn into charcoal, I'll either get them cutting stuff. Where is it? Where is it? Over there. Either cutting logs into firewood or might even get him furnishing. Oh no, he needs charcoal. So two charcoal and two air. Air? Or... Mm, can't talk. Two ore for one piece of cast iron. Uh, Mm. I'll just keep an eye on that, really. When that runs out, at least I'll have somebody free to do something with. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the minute. It's all very exciting. I've just <laughs> just freed a couple of people up. Basically, the um, the charcoal chap, whoever it was, um, ran out of firewood. And then I thought, well, let's just get on with this Weaver's Lodge. So we are ooh, we're doing a, a quick IKEA style build on a Weaver's Lodge. Also, I took one of the fisher bods off as well because it got up to 500, so that's in good shape. 10, 10 speed. But mm, it makes me think of Benny or makes me think of Benny Hill. I've also changed the Forester's Lodge. Oh! <laughs> so not talking shit. Changed the Forester's Lodge to just planting. Um, because. I want that to be really thick over there, and then we'll have a good old. Good old farm. Farm is the wrong word to use. Harvest? Dunno. Whatever. We'll just have to remember to change it back, which is why I've left it <laughs> left it out of there. Um so now I think we can Yeah, great. So we can get somebody making clothes. Uh we've got a furnace. I don't really want to use all the charcoal up yet. Well, I haven't said yet. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to stick somebody in our weaver's workshop, knocking out some basic clothing, and somebody in the furnace to get some, um, not the furnace, this thing. Smelter, that one, yeah. To get some, uh, that little strange thing though. Get some cast iron. And... They're into a second field's worth, so we'll have a thousand grass. They're just starting to harvest the first field of spud, so hopefully they'll have a, a good portion of the second field out. I wonder where they've gone. Huh? There, get on with it. Plant grass. Um, yeah, so uh, that's good, that's good. Another step forward. We are making clothes, and we are making cast iron. And as soon as I can afford it in terms of the resources, if I can find the damn thing, is that it? Yes it is. I shall be making myself a blacksmith's shop to make tools with said cast iron. Excellent. One of the teenagers grew up, so she is working on our blacksmith shop um, over yonder there's not quite enough wood but I've decided to get the Forester's Lodge personage um, chopping down wood and I've also got the builder will be collecting stone from this area while in between ferrying the stuff around because we haven't got enough stone either 109 stone short so once she's finished unloading all the stone She'll start, um, what would you call it, mm, mining, collecting, collecting stone. It's lying around over there. So, yeah, moving, 
Moving along, the teenagers are four and three, so it's going to be a while before any of them become available. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, we've also, look at that, we've also got the first clothing turned up. Well, this is all very in interesting and exciting stuff. My villages will no longer be naked. Let's see if I'll... Yeah, see, she got clothes. She's gone and got herself some clothes. Outstanding. So this field of grass probably going to get two full fields out. The tatties will get... Mm, have to keep an eye on the um, temperature. In fact, I might. It might be clever to keep those open, I think. So I can keep an eye on them. Get the people out as soon as as soon as they're done, basically, and start gathering when it reaches probably twenty, maybe twenty degrees temperature. So yeah. Um, ooh, the smelter has already run out. Christ, I might. Oh, I've had it on speed ten. I was going to say that didn't take long, but yeah, I've had it on speed ten. Uh, what was I going to do? So you can go on there, and the two of you can make a blacksmith shop and gather stone and be happy together forever. Uh, it's early fall of year two. Still in the mid-twenties. So I've had to kind of take a view on on the farming because, I don't know, there's a, there's a chance that between now and early winter it's going to lum it quite quickly. I don't really want to be caught out so I've set both fields to gathering. Might might end up getting a weaker crop because of it but you know it is what it is and I've done it. Uh, the blacksmith shop is moving on they're kind of, there's three of them now. Um, I've had to pull the person off of the clothing as well because we run out of skins. Um, skins? Hides. Uh, it was all misty moisty. Yeah, I just had a bit of a mad spree with a teenager wandering around killing loads of animals. Who needs war games when you can kill defenceless animals? Fisher Fisher person is doing well, holding their own. Ten more stone, come on, ten more stone, we can do this. And then you can start building the blacksmith shop. And hopefully we'll have some high quality toolage. Just in time for it to run out. Need to get the hunting cabinet rolling as well because I need skins, I need hides. Let's see if we can take over a teenager and uh, my little baby faced assassin here. And kill some shit. Well, hello, dude. Have one of the schnoz. a stone. Shooting a stone, it's not a hog, it's a stone. That's really clever. That's a stone as well. I'm seeing animals where there are none. Oh, hello. There's definitely a big fucking airy bear there. Un arrow a la bottom. Bigging his head round there. Hello. <laughs> it's just so unfair. I oh, know. You have every right to complain. While you're here. Let's just do one of them. Right. And, oh, come on. Two stone off. Just set the priority to build that in case you haven't got the hint already. So that's good. Um, so we'll crack on building the blacksmith shop as we finish gathering the last of the crops. I'm very early, but you know whatever I did was going to be wrong. Cross is another one. Hmm. Can't even be bothered to get the bow and arrow out for this one. Have that. Yeah. So um, again, moving on, we've got two and a half thousand spuds for the winter. 400 fish. I will be bunging somebody in the fisherman's lodge when they're free. 
because we're still basically living on vegetables and fish really still got some bread left fair enough good effort be a bit of meat as well if i can get that fish of that hunting cabin rather fisherman's lodge hunting cabin on the go all i need for that is a bit of stone that's handy Harry. yeah cool um so yeah i suppose from here really we'll finish off the two fields finish off the blacksmith shop start the hunting cabin and um try and get them done before the bad weather sets in famous last words result so both fields are clear uh, so in terms of food i think i mentioned last time so forgive me if i'm repeating myself uh yeah over two and a half thousand spuds got 400 odd fish i've whacked a second fisherman been able to reorganize the <laughs> few villages i have not many um, so you've got two people on fishing now, there's two building this hunting cabin up here, so well, that's a good growth of trees, that's better. See, so it paid to just delay chopping them down while I could and um, get the forestry person um, planting them really. Uh, what have we got? So we've got some logs in which case you can get chopping. I've got some people collecting some stone lying around on the ground there. Because we need the stone. Oh, we got enough for that. That's okay though. We need stone because we're short. Hunting cabin's almost done. Two ladies hammering away for Billio. That's the building done. We'll stick a hunter in there. So that gives us. Somebody chops unpause. Somebody chopping wood. Some, somebody gathering the wood. Somebody chopping it into firewood. When I've got some stocks of firewood, I have to get doing the char. Oh yes, I will have to get doing the charcoal. Ooh, that nearly caught me out. That was almost embarrassing. Let's get doing that. Hmm. Well, I say embarrassing. Um. Fatal is probably a better word to use. I could have killed villagers then just through not paying fucking attention. But it's easily done. If you play this, you'll know it's easily done. You can get distracted wandering around or... Yeah, whatever. And snuff people out. So I have also spare somebody to make some more clothes because I've got some more, more skins, more hides. Stop calling them skins. Numbnuts. Hides. I've still got flax from last year. We will need more of that next year, so I'll get that set up ready so I don't forget. I'll do tackers again next year. So, um, yeah, rolling into the winter. We're still at plus seven. A couple of people gathering fish. That's in good shape. Loads of spuds. Thinking out loud, really. One hunter. Gather meat and hides. One forester to bring logs in to there. Uh, three for the time being lumberjacky people to chop the logs into firewood when they build up a stock of 20 or 40 or something i'll take two of them off and pop them into charcoal making because we will need that i've got two yeah i've got two charcoals got one person hopefully collecting stone yet yeah. give us some options so right bit of a charge again year two that was good so now we have choices. Looking ahead to year three, because we'll use year two winter. Got some wood here I can collect when they're all grown up a little bit more. Oh, actually, can get doing them now, I think. We've got some of them are 12s, yep. Just set these in motion, all I remember. 14, hello, baby. Where have you been all these years? I did that one in my right hair. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else blue plays for us, village does this, but I was walking to work the other day and I looked at a tree and thought, oh that's a 10, oh that's a 14. Oh my god, and I, afterwards laughing at myself as you do, I thought I've been playing this too much. Not good, really not good. <laughs> I like walking down the street and thinking, oh yeah, I'd set an ambush there because you've been playing on a 
a war game too much or something. Silly ass. Let's just get a few of these going. And you there, and you there. That's good. Okay. So there's plenty of log collecting going on. So I've got my site set up for the two mines, an ore mine and a stone mine. I don't think I'm overly worried about them yet. But I do particularly want to... I think... I think we need to start growing the population. There's no getting away from it, really. Um, I'm maxed out at 14 now, and I'm in danger of getting stagnant, so... What I wanted to do was to put a field in here. Not literally build it, just the template for one, I suppose. With a view of setting the first main house of what I'll think of as the main um, complex. Because th th this is just like a starting area. Honestly, um, I think I'll start building the main one up there. So, how do we want to do this? Right, so your radius comes out. To there, there'll be another one up there. So I really want to line the the furthest field up with that. I think that, if memory serves, uses six people. There's a bit of terraforming to do there, that's going to be a nuisance. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Am I ever likely to have enough resources to do that? Actually, no, it's cleverer to do just a small house, I think. That's not going to work. Cause, oh, that's a lumpy bit of ground there. I have to go for Plan B. Here. Let's cancel that. God, blimey! Ah, oh, fuck! I terraformed all that, didn't I? I terraformed the wrong bit, really. With the benefit of hindsight. <laughs> Yeah. Bit of a twonk on the quiet. To there. Okay, so yeah, anyway. Um, plus four degrees as we move into uh, the winter part. In good shape again, I have to say. So I'm going to start looking forward and... Um, Terraform start physically working my way up here, up into the um, what will become, I think, the main part of the complex. Really, Ugh, here come the snows. This charcoal is a bit touch and go. I might have, um, might have cut it a bit fine. I'm thinking about diverting resources and making a third kiln as well. Not entirely sure those two will be enough to keep me going. do with it being daylight so I can see where that lines up really. Get out to the bloody wee. Yeah. So um yeah uh, I've terraformed up here as well. I've sort of started the process of clearing this out. There's a strange little quirky bit there to do. Um, and then we'll start levelling this top bit off to pop the house in. So the idea being I'm going to stick a field here, quite a big one, because that will be one of my main production fields, um, rather than these small kind of first early fields, first time things, you know. 
and then wherever the field comes out to leave a nice gap that's suitable for wells and fences and shit like that and um, pop a house in start the process of sprawling up into the it's not really a hill is it I suppose it is sort of a bit scraggly but sort of hills It's going in the right direction. It's alright, I think. Yeah, I might just take you over and give you a helping hand, blow your horn. Oh. Hmm? I'm quite sure what was that in Bit Weirdsville City. Not all those sodding animals, come on. Let's just try and knock up a fairly quick build on this one so we can get the third furnace working. <laughs> Got half an eye on that wolf as well, I want him. Coming to see me. Not for long. Yep. Hey ho. Right, so. Yes. 60 firewood, so I've got enough, I think, to get the um, three kilns going. <laughs> Excellent. And I've got a spare as well. Outstanding. Get rid of it. So, yep, my spare chap or chap ass, whoever mm. ye may be. Oh, of course, still chopping all those trees down, asking to God knows how long ago. Um, so, yeah, we'll just try and keep these numbers going up in the right direction, given that we're all about to freeze to bloody death if we don't. Something else I've never really dwelled on is these fairly new statistics that you get for pretty much any building that has something to be used, really. To, in this case, results. I, I started off by looking at the charcoal, thinking, "How am I doing? How much we need?" Blah blah blah. blah. Um, so, okay, so yeah, so this is a year. This whole stretch is a year. So, late fall, year one is there. That's got to be how much stock there was in the barn. It's not usage, this is the barn, so it's values in the barn. Okay, so this time last year we had 90. So that's six months ago for late spring. So this is midwinter. So over the winter, the volume in the barn fell. Christ, that was close. I can't even remember that. <laughs> Um, and then I must have put a second person on or something, started making them. Then the warm weather started so I didn't need them. And they would have been used to make that, wouldn't they? Talking of which, there's none left. I have to get rid of him in a minute. So that doesn't tell me about usage because, stupidly, I wasn't... I've no idea if I was um, producing any or not. <laughs> I was. Okay, so I wasn't producing much in the winter. So that's spring. This is the winter. And I seem to ramp it up. And that coincides with that, I guess. Yeah. Started ramping up then. And that's when it stabilised. Yeah, okay. Quite interesting, I think. If you're a shadow like my good self. Alright, being brave. <laughs> Taking on an, another small house. Got the um got the area terraformed, got the uh what would you call it, the structure, the foundation for a field in. Placed a house in what I think is gonna leave enough room between that and the field. Um Yeah. I really do need to get a path in up there. Which... 
I'll start now. I'm quite. I'd, I'd, mm. It's tempting to just do a dirt path because it doesn't take any resources, but I've got a mod that um, uses one piece of stone for a one tile of path, so I think that's bearable, really. Mm, yeah, let's do that. It's going to take a fair bit of stone and probably the rest of the winter to build, but <laughs> that's good. There you go, and we have a small house, so there's room for another five, I think. Yeah, five people. Cool. And if I get a stone path up there, the distance between the house and the barn where everything they need to live is isn't isn't horrendous, so that's all right. And there for that. It's all well and good. Da 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 da. Got a nice little stash building up here as well. After my little mad building spree. Oh, let's get you done. Uh, right, so we're in late wi late winter. Okay, the temperature's changing, so we're coming to the end of year two. And in bloody good shape we are, I have to say. Early spring year three, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! So we've made it through year two. And are growing. Like that. So um, building resources, yeah, we've got some of everything pretty much. We've even got the facility to, to make hay. Or grass. Um, we've got somebody collecting logs that can be turned into firewood, that in turn can be turned into charcoal, so that's heat and taken care of. We've got the ability to make clothes, we've got the ability to make high quality tools. We have resources for both, for all of those things. We can't go to warm clothing because I need wool, and for wool I need sheep, and for sheep I need a port, because sheep are, need, sheep are somewhere abroad in some foreign parts over yonder sea. So I can't get to them just yet. So, yeah, for the end of year two, I'm quite happy with that. If you if you particularly want it, you can really charge at it and make even more progress. But I'm quite happy with this little pottering version of the game. Works nicely for me. No rush, not a competition like that. Um, yeah, we've even got some bread left. Fish have gone right up because I've got two on fish here to 620. Still got just under 2,000, over 2,200 vegetables. So, all things considered, I'm rather pleased. And there's the first step up into the hills. So we can start eyeing up, expanding up, up there and um, making our presence felt in the wilderness. Excellent. So, yeah, that was the end of year two of um, the establishment and growth of Falkirk. Very nice. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Ta-da.